everyone. Welcome to Animal Awareness News, AAN. I'm Sierra Brand, and this is my fellow newscaster, Kennedy Galloway. Hello. We're here today to talk about fellows, or often called the Asian Unicorn, a rare and beautiful creature that is hanging out with all fours to avoid extinction. Sadly, yes, but let's not start off sad. Of course. We should start with a basic description. They have brown, red fur, white markings, and big horns. Speaking of big horns, did you know that their horns can grow up to 50 centimeters? Wait, we're getting ahead of ourselves. How? Because it's not fact time yet. Why not start it then? Okay, then it's fact time! Yay, my favorite time of the day! Mine too. So let's get started. Okay, the first fact of the day is my favorite. Most of the stuff we know about cellos comes from a female cella that lives in a zoo. Their litter size is one. Their lifespan is eight to twelve years. They are mostly hunted by alligators. Suodorix nedenhensis is its scientific name. How did you say that? No clue. Okay, let's get back on track. Sure. They are vegetarians. Their length is approximately 157 meters. The adult weight is about 100 kilograms. They are most active in early afternoons and mornings. When threatened, silos use their horns as weapons. Their sexual maturity is unknown. Few silos have been studied alive. And the last fact of the day is their top speed is 23 miles per hour. Okay, now that that time is over, let's talk about their habitat and discovery. The spotlight's on you, Sierra. Hello, everyone. I'm Sierra Brand fil filming live from North Central Vietnam. Let's talk about the exact home of the Sciola. The Sciola is only found in a small area of the forest on a border between Vietnam and Lyle. They live in evergreen forests with little or no dry season. The Sciola was discovered in 1992 in Vietnam. Little is known of it and it has only been captured on photo about three times. This is Sierra Brand filming live from North Central Vietnam. Now back to Kennedy waiting for us at the studio. Hello everyone, welcome back. Now it's time for the saddest part of the day, but the most helpful in information. It's time to talk about what makes them endangered. Aww. I know, I know. Now, one of the main things that makes them endangered is humans. No surprise, right? Humans affect Sal's population by setting traps meant for wild boars and Sal's is trapped in them. Humans also poach them, which is quite sad. Another thing humans do is cut down the Sal's forest for agriculture, which leaves them with little space to roam. These threats are all by humans, and we can stop and save the species. Now, if you would like to help these poor creatures by donating, go on www.panda.org. Look up the word Saula, spelled S-A-O-L-A, and please, donate today. That, that's right, www.panda.org. This is Sierra Brand, and this is Kennedy Galloy, and this was Animal Awareness News. Good night, everybody.